he's up there. Come on, run, Patrick. We'll come back and loot in a minute. You leave dog meat alone. Okay, let's do this. Head out to the mall. Right. I'm not in a good way. I just realized health-wise. How are we doing on the old stim packs? Uh, nine. Okay, I can probably afford to use one of those. Stim pack. Let's come out of there for now. Actually, let's put our armor back on while I remember. Okay. Just wait for that to work. Now, as for Sydney, yeah, I'm gonna have to drink, drink something, I think. Bit of ant meat, we'll take that. Blood packs, I'll hang on to those for now. Uh, not a lot else, we definitely need some food. Sugar bombs, why do I think I need sugar bombs for something? Okay, let's take some whiskey. 150 isn't great. We've got a fair journey ahead. But we need a, we need a few whiskies after that. Let's take a few Nuka Colas as well. Okay, 186. Can we live with that? We will find out. As for Sydney. Patrick doesn't really What the hell? Oh great. Right, Sydney, get those uh those grenades going. You leave dog meat alone now. Oh. Nice. Chopped his head off. Yes. Oh, some red roach meat, which is nice. You okay, boy? Quick check. Yes, you're good. You are good. As I was saying, before we were rudely interrupted, Let's go and check this one up here. Patrick prefers not to be in the company of people, but he's also recognizing that having someone else for mutants and the like to shoot at does have its advantages. So for now, it won't do any harm to head back to Rivet City with Sydney. After that, we will see. Okay. Now, what was I about to do? I was about to have a look at these uh, hunting rifles. No, can't can't repair anymore. So let's just drop that one. Anything else we need to repair? No, 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 no. We're okay. May have to consider dropping some of this stuff at some point. Guns. We'll just hang on to ammo and pick up guns as we go. I think that's going to be the strategy. Now, which way are we going? But yeah, I think that the super sledge, as nice as it is, it's slow. Well, that's, that's a good bit there. It's a good backup if the shish kebab fails. The ripper as well. Ripper currently doing more damage than the shish kebab. Hmm. I need to, to make some more. Mine's obviously the hunting rifle. I'm just hanging on to it to sell it, basically. Combat knife, probably should just sell that as well, because I think at this point, we're not going to use it. Uh, same with these. I mean, I have my Chinese pistol, which is 10 mil, so, yeah. If we find someone to sell them, great. We need the caps. Right, where are we going? Uh, quests, stealing independence. Okay, yep. Yeah. So that way come on then people let's go let's have my pistol ready just in case i don't want a cup dead mutants probably the ones we took out on the way in let's just go do a oh yeah this is where all of all of them were 
that off. What's this building over here? Do we... Do we do a bit of exploring before we go back? Well, the place is fairly clear right now. Museum. We have... Is there a way in? Maybe we'll find some stuff in the museum that might be worth... Worth something. Okay. Let's, uh... Go and have a look. Mutants. Opening fire. Okay. Okay, he's dead. You like that? Come on. Where'd he go? Okay, another one down. Well done, dog meat. Okay, more mutants. Great. What have we got? Yes, yes, and yes. Can we repair that assault rifle? Items, weapons. We can. Always good. Always good. Okay. You alright? Patrick? Yeah. He quite likes the idea of Sydney and her grenades. What else have we got? Down here. Anything of note? Nuka Cola machine. No need for pencils. Patrick hasn't figured out how to kill someone with a pencil yet. Turpentine we don't want. Some food. Always good. Is my gun loaded? It is. More food. In cans. Get a bit of light on the situation. Right, where's the other mutant? I'll make sure we're not missing anything here. I don't think we are. Let's go to the Nuka Cola machine. Anything in here? Fire hose nozzle. We do not need. Oh, not what I meant to do. Where is the other mutant gone? There's a terminal over there which we can go and check out. Ammo is always good. Let's see. We probably can't do anything with it. Museum information. Exhibit guide. Transportation exhibits. Museum of Technology is proud to present a journey through the history of ground transportation. Take a step back in time and see the original steam-powered car and the development of the internal combustion engine. Experience the rise of micro-sized nuclear power and walk through our two-story mock fusion engine to see what happens firsthand when you turn the key. Exhibit sponsored by the Chrysalis Corporation. Of course it is. Robotics exhibits. This is where it all started to go wrong, isn't it? Uh, the Museum of Technology is proud to be the home of some of the original prototypes in the Mr. Handy, Mr. Gutsy and Protectron robotics lines. See the development of these metallic assistants and how they've made our lives easier. Until they turned into killing machines. Yeah. It was a mistake. In Patrick's eyes. Play our artificial intelligence game where you will program a robot and watch it obey your commands in real time. After seeing what makes them tick, you'll never look at your robot the same way again. If only they knew. Sponsored by Robco and General. Yep. Patrick. Gigan's Homax tickets. So schedule is subject to change without notice. Uh, okay, 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. Cower in fear as all sorts of gigantic vehicles drive at the viewer and give you a bug's eye view of oncoming traffic. Strap yourself in for the ride of your life, all from the safety of our 300 seat Gigan. Uh, Gigantamax, is it? I think that's probably the correct pronunciation. Gigantamax Theatre. Ride 10 of the world's most notorious roller coasters from the front seat. Sickness bags not included. Colonoscopy. 
<laughs> Using our special Gigantamax technology, you'll marvel at the details on a three-story screen as you take a real-time voyage into a very familiar part of the human anatomy. Okay, Patrick's had enough. Had enough. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing how there's still things that either I've completely forgotten and wiped from my memory or things that I just haven't seen before in this game. Nothing in the desk. Research leads terminal. Let's have a look at these. Can someone please fix the planetarium projection system? The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions at least once a week. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember and end up taking over manually. I suggest we remove the system and bring back the human element so the audience, audience will feel more engaged. Okay, someone knew what was coming down the line. I'd like to lodge a formal complaint regarding the firearms exhibition that's planned for temporary display in the atrium. With the world tensions the way they are right now, I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices by promoting them as a tourist attraction. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it is entirely lost upon me, and I urge you to rethink its decision. Okay. This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we have been awarded for 2078. If any of these interest you, please stop by and see me so we can discuss it or submit a standard research request before the cutoff date. All submissions must be made by October 2nd, 2077, so now's the time to get them in. Supersonic airliner, Zach's computer prototype, original model, T-45D power armor suit, laser pistol prototype. I think we've seen some of those things floating around. Our new addition to the Space Light Gallery, the Virgo 2 Lunar Lander, is now open to general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and job well done to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out of mothballs and putting it in such a fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project and as a small token of our thanks, you will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Give each other a pat on the back. You've earned it. A virus that has been plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to an unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team and identified. After a complete cleanup on the mainframe's core, I'm happy to announce that the infection has been removed. The soul of this machine has improved. Oh, no. Souls and machines. What the hell? Hubris. Mankind's hubris. Stealth boy. Nice. Description. This is the Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001 personal stealth device developed by Robert Mayflower. Stealth Boy generates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to the other, making the bearer almost invisible to the untrained eye. How many of those do I have now? I need to start remembering to use those. Four. Could come in handy. You'll probably put that grenade away right now, Sydney. You're a bit, you're a bit twitchy. Okay, let's head upstairs. Actually, let's not head upstairs. Let's go and check out this area over here. What do we have? Oh, hello. Well, stim packs always worth it. The money. Nothing in the toilets. Oh, still can't get over it. Looking in toilets. Okay. I'm back way up. Let's go this way. And evidence of mutants. Wonderful. Don't want a camera. And I don't want any of that. Okay. What's that noise? That wasn't a trap, was it? No. Okay. No doubt there will be more mutants around. But not up here. It would Sledgehammer? No. We're only dealing super sledges now. Nikola Tesla and you. Nice. This will give us a, a boost to a useless stat that is no good to us. Let's have a look. Where is it? Energy weapons. Yes. I don't think we have much in energy weapons. 
28. I suppose it's not a dis not disastrous. It's better than our sneak, sneak, which is our lowest stat, coming in at 17. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're not doing unarmed. Melee up to 75. Explosives could be better. Right. I suppose we'll try and have a look at this. What's this do? Bulletins. Planetary recording system has been malfunctioning lately. Yeah, Patrick is has no interest. Numerous complaints. Single pending lawsuit against the Gigantamax Theatre's sound system has been lowered from 130 decibels to 120. Please note that all employees working in or near the theatre should still wear proper ear protection to pre prevent permanent damage. General announcement to use the men's lavatory facility in the maintenance area. I've logged too many complaints. That's a poor choice of words. Uh, that people are not flushing the toilets after using them. People who use the facility to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment. To prevent this from becoming a reoccurring issue, card swipe access will be required for each stall and will log your name, time in the stall and contents of the bowl until such time that we deem it no longer necessary. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Turret control system. Okay, can't get in there. Can you do that? No, there's no follower system here, is there? What's up? Uh, let's get going. Rivet City, here we come. Yeah, let's have a look around the museum first. Okay. Did I check these? I did. Make sure we're not missing anything. Hiding. Of use. Patrick has become a conscientious scavenger. Right. Let's head up the big stairs, shall we? That's the way we came in. That is the area we went in. Yep, through the other stairs. Museum information. Yeah, all the same stuff. Patrick's bored now. What is it, dog meat? Oh, another stealth boy. And another stealth boy. Well, it wasn't a wasted trip. Okay, it looks like that's it. Yep, no way up there. Is that it? Well, halls of today. Yeah, that's a that's apt. Okay. Vault tour. Oh, hello. Vault Tech welcomes you to our new line of subterranean vaults featuring our patented Triple S technology. Okay. This is a little little odd, Sydney, don't you think? Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance safety, survivability, and sanitation. And you forgot manipulation. Can't do anything with this. Okay. Patrick getting flashbacks now of leaving the vault. Sleep in quiet, knowing that our impenetrable vault doors can withstand a direct hit by an atomic bomb with only a projected 2% failure rate. 2%, hmm? Keep out, not part of tour. Why not? Why can't people see? Well, I don't think anyone's going to be pulling us up. Can I get in there? No. No, it won't move. Not a movable object. Being underground got you down? Smile! Our Simu Sun lighting mimics the feeling of being outside with only a fraction of the sunburn potential. It does not mimic being outside. Patrick knows that. From personal experience. This is creepy. 
Hello. The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor suck auto cleaner system for those darned messy kids. Never sweep again. <laughs> the things that are important to people, hey? Oh, hello. We'll take that. Oh, we're over, over encumbered. Why are we over encumbered? That can't be right, surely. We are. Okay, well, we might as well take that beer that we just picked up. No ways into any of these areas. Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What's this one? Bored? Don't be. Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation. Everything. Everything about laziness and entertainment and look at the state of the world. Hmm. Concerns about security? Our eye on you cameras enable the Vault's leader to watch your every move. Oh, You'll yeah. never be alone again. Isn't that wonderful, children? Oh, hello. This goes deeper. Okay. So it's getting nervy. Should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family will be safe in a vault tech vault. Yep. Yep. Madness. Where the hell does this go? We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful vault tech guides. Right. Okay. Back to here. Go to Museum of Technology West Wing. Okay. Bottle caps. Eyes and ears open, people. Hmm. Yep, this is just back to where we were. Okay. Well, the museum is a bit of a letdown. We got a few stealth boys, I suppose, which we will, uh... Oh, hello. Ah! No. Okay, we got him. We got him. But I need, I need a bit of something. That food we picked up is going to come in handy. Some mole rat meat. Some rad roach meat. And yeah, let's drop a whiskey. He's up there. Come on, run, Patrick. We'll come back and loot in a minute. You leave dog meat alone. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that hurt. That hurt. Uh, run. Down. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? Plenty of ammo anyway. Okay. Where? Oh. Sydney's dead. Well, I suppose we won't be sharing the, uh, we won't be sharing the reward. I suppose she was useful for a time. You okay, boy? Come here. Let me check you out. Yeah, see? You know how to stay alive. You know how to stay alive. Okay. Let's uh, check this out. Mutilated organs. Lovely. Let's just have a look at this uh, 
gun of Sydney's. 10mm Ultra SMG. 35 damage. Which is rather rather nice, I have to say. The only thing is it will eat through ammo, but only weighs five. Yeah, we'll hang on to that. We will hang on to that. That's not a bad weapon. Now, where were we? Need to get my bearings again. Delta 9 rocket. Commissioned by the USSA in 2020 was the last of the manned rockets that sent our brave American astronauts to the moon. Delta 9 was in use for almost 15 years before being converted for military use and having the crew and instrument sections replaced with a nuclear warhead. Delta 9 recorded over 77 successful launches, making it one of the most successful rockets in US history. The rocket developed entirely by USSA scientists uh, was a single stage vehicle with an ejectable crew section or satellite storage bay. The propulsion system was a nuclear electric derivative drive using a massive electrical jolt to start the nuclear reaction on launch. The crew section was protected from the radioactive chambers by way of a massive titanium vanadium disc. The spacecraft had the capability to sustain two astronauts for up to 24 days maximum. Longest recorded spaceflight in a Delta IX rocket was the 17-day Zeus-12 mission to the moon. Instruments section. Light off. Show crew section. Show propulsion section. Okay. Maybe we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. The, the madness. I'll take that just to see if I can uh, repair any more. I probably can't. I can't. So, we will uh, drop that. We will take all of these, though. And I'm over-encumbered. Something has to go. What isn't worth a lot? Uh, surprisingly, the assault rifle is worth a fair bit. We do need caps. We do need caps. Hunting rifle weighs six. Submachine gun weighs five. Scope magnum. We like it, but uh, it's heavy. Not a lot of ammo for it. Still. Hunting rifles are ten a penny. Let's drop that. That'll do for now. Okay. We will not go in there just yet. Hot plate. Fancy lads. Snack cakes. We will definitely take. Okay. Let's go and see. It's a shame about Sydney. Her grenades were useful. But look, if you can't stay alive, well, you can't stay alive, can you? This is just the way of things. We came through this way. Okay. Down, more down the stairs. And see. Look at this monster. Atrium Planetarium Virgo 2 Exhibit and Vault Tour. That's a rather strange exhibit. Empty whiskey bottles. No use to me. Okay. Let's head back up. Can we go up further? I think we will. Mutants are a pain now to Patrick. He doesn't feel as a... He was a little freaked out by them at first. Let's breach this. It's only average, so a frag mine should do it. Ten seconds. Come on, dog meat. Get over here. Maybe you should have been further away. Come on. 
Didn't work. Come on. I can hear you, dog meat, but I can't see you. Where are you? Ah! There you are. What is going on with the frag mine not doing an average lock? Right. Let's use a rocket. Do not blow up in my face. I have to say, I do like the mechanic that that is a possibility. It certainly adds to the tension. Oh! There we go. I am quite low on health again. Let's eat. Let's eat. Okay, fancy lads. Some mole rat meat. Couple of new colas. Uh, let's uh, throw on a, a stim pack as well. Before we go through. How much 10 mil ammo do we have? 221. Let's try out Sydney's weapon here. Nice. Feels good. What have we got here? Load of empty boxes. Tin cans. Toolbox with nothing in it. Another toolbox with nothing in it. Okay, dog meat. Let's take our time. I think I hear a large clumsy mutant. Ten mils round. That's nice. Key. Custodian key for tech museum. We will take that. Keys are always handy. Suitcase. Nothing of interest. What do we got up here? Camera. Clipboard. Wrench. Sledgehammer. Activate museum maintenance. Recording systems are malfunctioning. Causing the normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or the chief of maintenance. Okay. Uh, single penning loss. Okay. Yeah, I think we've seen these already. First aid box. Always welcome. There's the mutant down there. Okay. Handy gun. Oh! Not paying attention. Not paying attention. Too reckless, Patrick. Too reckless. Thankfully. Now. What was in the desk? Same stuff. Okay, that's fixed. Which is handy. We'll take these. And... Right. Okay. Okay, flying mutant. This is not on. And he's up on the plane. Come on, Patrick, reload. Well, I've probably eaten through quite a bit of ammo. That's the only thing I would say there. Let's have a quick look. I, over 200. I'm down. Yep, I've used half of it. It's a nice gun, Sydney, but don't you know that there's an ammo shortage? Okay. More mutants. Of course, there's more mutants. There's, the mutants never end, it would seem. This is what science does for us. Chinese assault rifle. Mm. 
32. Let's have a quick look here and see how this compares to the standard assault rifle. 28, 32. Worth a bit of cash, these. Hmm. Don't know. We're carrying way too much. We have too many guns. We're going to have to drop something at some point. Sydney would have been handy to help us get back to Rivet City, but Patrick doesn't really feel anything. No sense of loss. Why would he? He hardly knew the woman. Which way are we going to go? Nicola. Now I'm over, but that's okay because... Let's have a whiskey. And some roll mat. Roll mat? Roll mat meat? Mole rat meat. An old spoonerism -zy. Okay, it just brings us back down here. Okay, back up the stairs. So, the museum got us some stealth boys. We lost Sydney, but we got a nice gun. We covered this area. I'm not sure if we have. Yeah, the atrium we have. We came through here. Where haven't we been? Where haven't we been, Dogmeat? We haven't been in here. Okay. Not a lot in the way of loot. There's only whiskies lying around. No, just empty tin can. Okay. Man has had an insatiable hunger for knowledge regarding the universe. Right. To understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around our little world. Okay, no time for the tour. Sod this. Die. Die. Okay. Uh, red roach meat we like. You alright, boy? They interrupted. They interrupted my the presentation I was listening to. Okay. Starting again. To understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of around our little world we must take a journey okay please sit back relax and free yourself from the bonds of our planet as we take off for the stars star planet as we stars well this could have been interesting for as long as history has been recorded isn't that always the way dog me I'm glad we didn't buy a ticket Nothing works as it should, does it?